I'm going to show you how you can use um, just simple watercolor to make your own distressed inks or oxide inks. The only difference is distressed is transparent. Oxide has white gouache in it. So you might want to get a tube of that. But these little tubes, these are 15 milliliter for the Magello. I don't know which ones you want to use. They can be real expensive for the Daniel Smith. You don't want to use really expensive, but um, Magello is a fair price range. This is about six bucks. And that's what you could pay for one of these or a couple of these. So, but with this, I can make ink, I can make sprays, or I can even put it in giant spray bottles this much. And I still, look at that, over a half a tube and I've been using it to paint with. I've had this probably almost two years. I'm going to show you how much you only need to make your own inks. Now, inks are nothing but pigment and binder. And I just tapped that, just tapped it. And I'll add just a tiny bit of water and just get a little swirly, swirly, swirl. And that's all I do. And look how rich that color is. And I'm going to show you how you can stamp with it. Now, since it is really wet, if this dries, you just missed it with water and it activated again. With name brand, you got to buy this stuff. And so this is always going to be good, whatever you got left over. And I just tap it on a rag like that because I don't want it real heavy. And I'm going to just quickly stamp. I get nice coverage. And there you go. That's Peacock uh, in the Magello. Now I'm going to remove this pad. And I'm going to put on this pad. And this is the problem I have with Tim Holtz. Excuse the fingers being blue. I dyed papers all day today. It's dry almost. And I just bought this not too long ago. And it's dry. So that's what made me have to buy this stuff. And it's still not doing too good of a job. But as you can see, there you go. Now, it has a little bit of color variation. But I can always add any color I want to this. Add more green, add more blue. Um, what I do though is add a little bit of white gouache and just a squeeze, a tiny squeeze of this into one of these bottles. I put two little uh, glass beads in there so it can shake it up. Now this would be an oxide compared to your oxide. If you wanted it just distressed, you would omit the white gouache. And it sprays really good. And you can see it's that milky color like you want. And of course it's reactive to water, just like all your Tim Holtz, because watercolor is reactive to water. It's reactive to salt. You can make it look really pretty. Now I made this a really heavy dye with my paint. And this took a good squeeze, not a really big squeeze, but not too much, but to make it a nice dark, you can either wet your paper first to make a really light pastel colors when you spray because you're only spraying it real lightly. The water's making it spread, okay? Or you can just spray it full strength, but look what the salt does. See, it makes it bloom out, and I like that for a winter journal. I'm doing this for snow effects. Now, when you add different um, things like oxgall, or that's gum air, but oxgall or granulation, you can get these beautiful granulating colors. Now I sprayed indigo and then a pink violet that I made and my peacock. And just look at that. Isn't that beautiful? It granulates. But you don't have to have it granulating like that. You can just put the ox doll in it or just the granulation medium and get these beautiful designs. It's just beautiful colors. Um, you can spray in the sun and get your stencil stamps. I like using the granulation medium because I don't know if you can see the spots on that. But see how it pulls different colors away from each other and gives it this grainy look? I absolutely love that. Again, you can just spray it on water paper with water sprayed on it. And you get these nice pastels colors. But all in all, you're only paying about six bucks for this whole tube, it's going to make you tons and tons and tons and tons of ink and 
dies to last you a long time. We're just one of these things. Like this blue, I was out of it before you knew it. I couldn't even cover a piece of paper. I could spray some stencils, but not really dye anything. So this covers all of your needs. And you can even add um, Pearlax Mica to it, and it will shimmer. Um, you just add it into the bottle, whatever you want. I make a variety of my own colors. Whatever colors I want, I can make vintage photo. Um, here I got, I forget what this was. It was more like the walnut, but not quite as dark. Um, I mean, I can make any color I want with just your primary colors. Of course, a whole set of watercolors are going to be expensive, but so is you, uh, if you were to buy all the stamps, they'd be really expensive. I'd start out with your primary colors, some white ganache, <laughs> sorry, and some magenta. Um, I personally like opera pink. Um, but you can get magenta and Windsor Newton. It's a beautiful color. And you can get more of your purplish pinks um, instead of your red pinks. Hope that explains it. That's the best way I can do it real quick.